In this video, we're going to look at how we can organize our shortcuts into folders on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. So I'm in my shortcuts app here, and if we look at the sidebar, you're going to see I have folders. What I am able to do is organize my shortcuts into different folders. How do we create these folders and how do we place a shortcut in that folder? Well, all we need to do to create a new folder is we just go up under File in the menu bar and then we go over to New Folder. I select it and then I just go and name it. So let's just call this Mac Shortcuts. I click on Done and I have my new folder. So now how do I add a new shortcut to this? all I do is just drag them in there. So let's go back to all of my shortcuts. I click on all shortcuts here and any shortcut I want to add to this folder, all I have to do is just drag it there. So I have this Tile S4 Windows shortcut. This is a Mac only shortcut. It can only be run on the Mac. So I need to put it into my Mac shortcuts to keep it organized. All I do is just drag this over there and then when I let go, it moves it over there. Let's go ahead and do that for this one as well. This is a Mac only shortcut as well. So I just drag it over there. And now when I click on Mac shortcuts, we can see those two shortcuts are there. If I want to remove a shortcut, all I have to do is just drag it back over to all shortcuts and it moves it out of that folder. Now in addition to create in this folder, what we can do is we can change that icon or glyph, the folder icon there on the left side. To do that, what I do is I control click on it, hold down the control key and I click, and then you're going to see edit icon. I just select this, and then I select the icon that I want to use. So I'm going to go with a Mac here. So I'm just going to swipe up. I know there's one that looks like a Mac here. We're going to go with this one here. And now we can see it looks like a Mac. What about renaming it? Well, all I have to do is just control click on it again, hold down the control key and I click, and you're going to see rename. Select this, and I can type in a new name. Now, when I delete a folder, I have the option to delete just the folder or all of the shortcuts in that folder as well. Let's go and place another shortcut in here. We're gonna go back with my Tile S4 Windows, Tile last two windows, so now I have three shortcuts in there. Now what I want to do is I want to delete this folder. All I do is just control click on it again, and you're going to see delete. When I delete this, I'm going to have the option to delete the three shortcuts with it or keep the three shortcuts. So if you want to keep the three shortcuts, all you have to do is just click on keep. It'll delete the folder but it'll keep the shortcuts, so those shortcuts are not deleted. Let's see how we do this on the iPad and iPhone. Let's go over to my iPad and iPhone. We're first going to look at this on my iPad. I'm in the Shortcuts app here, and if we look, we have my folders. To add a new folder, all I do is just go down to the lower left-hand corner. You're going to see this little icon here. I click on it, and then I just go and name it. So let's call this Mac Shortcuts again. Down below, we have all of our different icons, so I can just swipe over to the left to find the right icon. So I'm going to go and find my Mac icon. We're going to go with this one here. I tap on Add, and now I have my Mac shortcuts here. How do I go and add a shortcut? Again, just like with the Mac, all I have to do is just drag it here. We can see that you have my Mac shortcuts here. I can't run this one because this runs on a Mac, but I can view it on here. I can see it on here. So all I have to do is just drag this over to my Mac shortcuts and it's placing them into that folder. How do I remove it? I just select it and then I can remove it. I just drag it over to all shortcuts and it removes it. If I want to remove all of the items, all I have to do is just control click on it, hold on the control key and I click and I'm able to edit the name and icon or what I'm able to do is delete it. When I delete it, I can delete the two shortcuts along with it or keep the two shortcuts. On the iPhone, it works very similar. So when I go over to my iPhone here, we can see we have all of my 
shortcuts. We have all of my folders. If I go down to the bottom here, you're going to see I have shortcuts here. When I swipe up, we can see we have my different folders here. Being that I am using iCloud, it is keeping them all in sync. Now, if I want to add a folder, I do not go over to the plus over here. What this will do is this will add a new shortcut to this folder. That's not what I want to do. I want to add a new folder. Well, then what I need to do is I need to go to all of my shortcuts here. And then what I can do is I can create a new folder. We can see I have all of my folders here. So now I just create a new folder. We're going to call this one auto. These are for my shortcuts for the auto for my car. I tap on the glyph or icon and then I go over to add. And now we can see we have my auto folder. It does not have any shortcuts in yet. So how do I add a shortcut to this? Well, all I have to do is just go over to all of my shortcuts. And then let's go with this one here. Let's say this is for my car. I tap and hold on the three dots. If I just tap on it, it's going to edit that shortcut. That's not what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to move it. So if I tap and hold on this, now what I'm able to do is move this to a new folder. So I select this, and then I select Auto, and now that shortcut, when I go back over to all my shortcuts, we can see it is in that shortcut. Also, if I'm viewing all of my shortcuts, when I swipe up, we have my Auto, and there is my Shazam shortcut. To edit a folder, I go back over to all of my shortcuts, I long press on this, and then from here I'm able to edit the name and icon, or I can delete it. And if I delete it, I have the choice of deleting the shortcuts within that folder, or just the folder itself. So that's how we create folders for our shortcuts on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. When we create a folder, what we're able to do is also assign it an icon. If we're using iCloud, these folders will sync across all of our different devices. Once we create that folder on the Mac and iPad, we can just drag any shortcuts we want over to that folder. On the iPhone, what we need to do is long press on a shortcut, and then what we're able to do is move it. If you delete a folder, you have the option to delete all of the shortcuts within that folder, along with the folder, or you can keep the shortcuts. So that's how we organize our shortcuts into folders on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.